Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of my let's play of Plants vs Zombies. Uh, last time we got to about like world 1-4 and got the shovel. And do the next few levels now. Greetings neighbor, the name's Crazy Dave. You can just call me Crazy Dave. What a crazy. I've got a surprise for you. But first I'll need you to clear your lawn. Okay, so this is teaching us how to use the shovel. Let the digging commence! Oh, I'm sorry, pea shooters, you have to go. And. Pop. Now for the surprise. We're going bowling! Take this walnut! Why is he yelling at me? Why'd I put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy! Oh, he's crazy. Look at them teeth. So, walnut bowling. Um, plants vs. zombies. It's pretty good. It puts in mini games every so often just to kind of break up the monotony of the tower defense levels, which is nice. So it's, I think, once or twice in every like, like one, two, three, level. It'll um, I guess I'm gonna call them worlds because Super Mario calls them worlds. So in every world, it'll um, break up the monotony a bit by putting in a level with just a mini game. I can't remember if it's one or two for each one, but. So this is the bowling mini game. Not my favorite, but still pretty fun. I think I'm better at zombie bowling than real bowling. I used to do bowling when I was, I think, eight. I would go out and play, go out and bowl after school sometimes. In a league and everything, I have a trophy. It wasn't that good, but. Save the explody nut. Actually, let's use down here. So yeah, bowling's is pretty basic. Let's throw some walnuts, etc., etc. Really, not one of the most fun mini games. There's some really good ones later on, but yeah, this one not as enjoyable. It's cool how they kept the um, the witch's hat ones being like stronger than the others still even in bowling because you have to knock the hats off before you can knock them- ah, not the shovel. Oh, they're getting pretty close. Ah, ah, ah. Stay away from my house, zombies! Someone mentioned in the comments that- because I called this the uh, backyard in my other- my first video. And someone mentioned that they thought this was actually the front yard, and that would actually make more sense because it's next to the road and normally you don't have a backyard just opening onto the road. And it just looks kind of like a front yard, so from now on, this is the front yard. I guess it always was, I just wasn't being accurate. I need an exploding nut, jeez. The zombies are coming. Ah! Oh no. Oh no! They're actually getting kind of close. I didn't get many exploding ones in this one at all. Come on. Come on. Woohoo! My house is safe once again. And we got a new plant. Yay! So this is the potato mine. It only takes 25 sun to plant and explodes on contact, which is awesome. But it takes a while to set up. Um, you might have seen just then, we have the pole vault zombies coming now. Which suck. They jump over the first plant they come across, regardless of what it is. So even if it's a walnut, they won't stop. They'll just be like, ah, oh, I don't care about this walnut. I'm just going to jump over it, which is super annoying. But it's okay. We can deal with them with the potato mine. It's really cool. You set up a potato mine uh, behind a walnut. And they're like, I'm just going to jump over this walnut. Hey, I hope you don't mind. And you're like, ah, oh, feel free. And then they die from the potato mine. Stupid zombies. Someone in the comments as well mentioned that when they do uh when they play Plants vs Zombies, they put the sunflowers in the third row, which I might try next time because it gives them an extra row of defense. The sunflowers don't take they only take like 50 sun to plant, and if you lose them for a while it's not so bad. For some reason I always like viewed them as like the very pinnacle of the plants that I wanted to keep safe and hold on to, but because they don't take much sun to replant, so I think I might try doing that next level. I'll stick the uh, sunflowers in the next one. 
Do, 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 do. I might have to go in my next video. I'm not sure how long this level will take. I guess we'll see. So yeah, the game's still kind of monotonous at this point. But it will pick up very soon, hopefully. It does pick up. Just trust me on that one. Stay with me until then. Promise? Okay, yeah, so here's a walnut. I'll just. Uh, here's a pole boulder. I'll show you what I mean with the walnuts. Spoing! So at least he slows down a lot when he doesn't have his pole. Which doesn't make sense, but whatever. I'm alright with it. He's not so bad after that. Let's put a potato mine under here. I'll show you guys what I mean with the potato mine. Hopefully at some point another pole vault zombie will come on this line and die. Oh no. I'm gonna slow him down by putting this here. So he's gonna slow down at least because he jumped over that one. And you can see the potato mine is set up and ready to be set off now, which is cool. Let's put more pea shooters up. I find that it's good to set up a walnut or potato mine as soon as you can because they don't take as much uh, too much sun to plant but they do take a long time to recharge so it's nice to have them set up and you can always dig them up later if you want to <laughs> random ass sunflower <laughs> oh no zombies stay from my walnuts So much going on right now, you can probably see. Pretty monotonous. At least we got three potato mines ready to go off. Hopefully, yeah, here we go. One of them is coming for the potato mine, which would be funny. Just keep an eye on this one here. Spadow! That's right. Stay away from my garden. Zombies think they can come into my house. Not today, zombies. And it looks like I have time for another level in this video, so that's awesome. So I can do the sunflowers in the third or in the third slot bit. So this is the snow pea. I use this a lot, even like playing in the later levels. It slows them down like pretty significantly, gives you a lot more time to kill them, which is good. So sunflowers in the third row. Let's try this. This video might end up being a long one. Sorry about that. It's already at eight minutes. Didn't realize. My bad. Hopefully you guys won't mind too much. You can always just skip it if you want to. This level is probably not one of the most exciting ones. It is the first level to have um two uh what's it called the big wait the wave. It's two. It's the first level to have a big wave of zombies. So that's something slightly interesting. Does mean that it's longer there. Start setting my walnuts up from the start just so I don't forget. The potato mine as well. Why not? Oh, wrong bit. Damn. My mouth slipped a little. <laughs> That's annoying, but it's fine. We'll deal with it. I might move the walnut when I can. Which should be when I have enough yeah, enough sun. And now I need to get my pea shooter set up because the zombies are coming. Come on, one more sun. Come on, sunflowers, do your job. Do 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 do. Got my sunflower set up, that's awesome. Now I just gotta get my pea shooters all set up. If I can get enough sun, I'm gonna put a row of our snow peas on the end so it slows them all down, which is awesome. Stop eating my walnut, get away from there. Shoo! So 
And I got the potato mine set up. That's good. How long do they take to die? I'll just put uh, pea shooters here for now, I guess. Since snow peas might take a while to be able to. They take 175 sun to plant. So it might take a while until I can plant a little of them. So for now, I guess pea shoes will be fine. Oh, that walnut in the middle is not looking so good. I'm sorry, little guy. He's visibly sad now, you can see. I'm sorry. Oh, come on, kill that guy before he eats my potato mine. Yay! That would have been really annoying if he ate the potato mine. Because <laughs> it takes so long to recharge. Oh, and here's a pole vault zombie, so he's gonna blow up my potato mine, which is awesome. Spadow! That's right. Stay away from my gun. Unfortunately, that means I've got to have another one. Damn. Oh well. Almost showing a bit of wear and tear. That'll be right. I might start setting up. I think I'll save the snow peas now. Oh no, he ate my walnut. Damn that zombie. Damn you, zombie. I'll stick one of these guys up now. Got enough sun for a snow pea. Yay! That's so cute. I love the snow peas. If I could have any of these zombies, other oh, plants, in my everyday life, I think it would be a snow pea. Good in summer as well. No brains here, only plants. Might have to start replacing the walnuts. I'm not looking so hot. You can see these snow ones. The uh, snow peas are slowing down some of the zombies, which is awesome. Good job, snow peas. Come on, walnuts, you can do it. Yeah, none of them are looking that hot. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll have time to replace them. But that's okay because we have potato mines. It's a second row of defense. And we've got some flowers as well. It's a lot of zombies. And just 75 more sun till I can plant another snow pea. And then I think we'll be fine. Oh, here's a uh, vaulting one. This will be good. Get ready to die, zombie. Spadow! How you like me now? I got all my snow peas set up. All my walnut. Actually, I'm gonna start replacing the walnuts because they don't think they'll last very long. I think that one there is gonna give out in a second. I think if I have time, I'll replace that one next. Uh, let's put more pea shooters here as well. Got spare sun lying around. And here's another one gonna die on my potato mine. Ha 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 ha. Okay, replace this guy now. Spadow. I love the little sound effects. Powie and spadow. Oh no, he demolished my walnut. That's alright, I'll build another one. I didn't get emotionally attached. It's alright. And just about time for the final wave, I think, after this guy. Ha! Spadow. And there we go. Nice defense from my house, from the zombies. Q 
keep it nice and symmetrical. <laughs> As you can see. Except that spot's really annoying me now because there's no potato mine there. Oh, this one was really long. Sorry about that, you guys. Ah, uh, so this will be the last one for this video. And now we have the chomper, I think this is. He chews up uh, the zombies, but he's vulnerable while he's chewing. And so I'll end that video there because it's really long. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time. Bye.